back. That was a long commercial break, wasn't it? I'm very glad you're back. <laughs> very glad you're back. And I hope you enjoyed the products advertised. <laughs> My first guest tonight stars in the uh, hit CBS series, The New Adventures of Old Christine, which is Mondays at 8.30. Take a look at it. <laughs> Julia Louis-Dreyfus, everybody. Julia, Julia, welcome. Yeah, Craig, wow. Craig, Craig. You look sassy this Thank evening. Thank you. It's I my... haven't seen you in yellow before. I know, I haven't nice. seen myself in this either. It's very lovely. <laughs> it's Easter. It's uh, my it, Easter look. It, it, really? Uh, no, okay. not really. It's, uh, it's Friday the 13th. Well, that's a good I, day for I, me. I get, uh, really? Yeah, what I was want? born on Friday the 13th. Yeah. Was well, it your birthday today? <laughs> uh, no. No. In January. Right. Oh, yeah. January the Friday the 13th. Yeah. Do you, do you don't associate with bad luck then? Well, I mean, I worship the devil. Is uh -huh. that what you mean? Right. Yeah. 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 So, the, so this is kind of like a big day for you and your people yeah, it's a then. Big celebration. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. Are you a superstitious person? Yes. Really? Are you? Well, very, very. Compared to me, most people are just stitious. <laughs> what, are you, what are you superstitious about? I, you know, I wear lucky underpants. <laughs> Do you have really? you got any lucky underpants? Because I'll wear them if you have them. I don't... <laughs> see, here's my thing is, I don't wear my own lucky underpants. I wear other people's lucky underpants. That's what I think is lucky. Well, it's lucky for me. I don't me. think you're superstitious. I think you're a pervert. That's right! That's right! How about that? How about that? You sassy yellow thing. Do you believe in the, uh, in the Seinfeld curse? There's another thing. Do you believe in that? Oh, yeah, I No, believe. come on. You won an oh, Emmy right off the bat it's with the old Christine thing. Yeah, that was, a, that was good. Good. And, uh, yeah. and you no, know, of course I don't believe in that curse. And, and it was very exciting to win that Emmy. Yes, you need to say, I was at the Emmys that, uh, I didn't win an Emmy. Hmm. Yeah. You didn't come and say hi to me either. I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. No, yeah, you yeah. Didn't. You know, you, there was a lot of people around you. Oh, you know what? And I was so drunk. Yeah, you were. <laughs> you were. I, I, I actually lost to Barry Manilow. It was in my category. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. that. Because all you guys... I do remember that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because all of the guys that won Emmys, they go off to a certain area that's <laughs> for winners, and everyone else goes to a certain area for losers. Yeah, they go to the loser section. The loser, and I was in the loser section as yeah, well. Well, yeah, well, believe me, I've been in that section many yeah. times. Do you bet on yourself? Uh, I don't bet on myself. I wonder if that's illegal. Is oh, it? I don't know. Uh, it depends. We, do we go out in Nevada? If we go out in Nevada, everything's cool. No, uh, I, don't, I don't bet on myself, but my husband actually did bet on me. Really? To, to win? Uh, to win, and uh, he won a lot of money. Really? Yeah, he won a lot of That's money. That's very nice. Yeah. That's but very nice. But he told me after I won. He came right. up and he said, I, I put down uh, a lot of money. For you to win? Uh-huh. Right. Because yeah. if he put down money for you to lose... He wouldn't have told you. Well, he would have been hedging his bets. That's right, he exactly. Would. Which, yeah. of course, no gambling man ever would. <laughs> Don't ask me. Yeah. I have no idea. The last time you were here, you were nervous because you were going to host Saturday Night Live. Now you've done it twice. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, very. I was. I was terrified. And now I was still scared the second time I went. It's really scary. It's so live. But you, you were a cast member on Saturday I know, Night but still, when you're, you're hosting it and you've got to do a monologue and you've got to, you know. And oh, yeah. Scared. It must be terrifying. <laughs> Wow, we're doing a monologue and hosting. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah, right. every night of the damn week. <laughs> well, this is live, though, man. It's yeah, yeah. Live. Well, that's just live. Look, it's dark outside. <laughs> yeah, live is scary, isn't it? Live, live. You could just say the wrong thing and ruin your career, just like that. Oh, don't Do you... say that. Well, no, I'm don't just even saying. say it. It's that's so scary. What, that's what I worry about every night out here as we go live. <laughs> Brave soul. I am a brave soul. It's true. Yeah, all right. Do you fine. get nervous? Do you do little superstitious things before you go on? You like walk around twice and wear your lucky underpants. I'm back to that, obviously. No, I'm. I'm. Uh, I. I don't have OCD. If that's right, right, no, right, but right. I. I do have certain certain superstitions, but not before performing. Oh, actually, I do. Really? Yeah, but see, now I can't tell you what it is. I mean, see, now that's superstitious. If you can't tell me what it is, that's also a superstitious thing. Right, so there you go. Yeah. There's one Do you think you're mentally healthy? I think I'm, um, I think I'm, uh, nuts. Wow. Wow, oh, really? Are we live? Right, luckily we're live, but, uh...
but we can get someone to the button on the pixelating machine. You know, the thing is, we have to pixelate that so we, so we don't even look like, it doesn't even look like you said it. You know what I love though? A woman in a yellow dress that talks like that, meow! I'm yeah, not, yeah. I'm not, I you're like no sailor I ever met, lady. <laughs> I tell you. Well, actually, you're like one. Yeah, but that right. was Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> they like this show. Yeah, yeah. So we've got to take a break, though. We have to take oh, a commercial break. Yeah, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll be right back with Julia Lily Dreyfus, everybody, when we come back. Fancy moves as well. Fancy moves. You got the moves. Do you ever watch the old Seinfeld reruns when they're on? Um, uh, not a lot. I mean, you know, it's on all the time, so my kids watch it sometimes. Really? And, well, yeah, my 14 year old's starting to get into it a little bit. Right, okay. You know, then I walked in on him watching the contest one, and I had to well, turn no, that can't. off. And, well, he's. No, I said, you know, this, don't watch this anymore. This show's right, a piece yeah. of crap. Don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the whole series, it's a show not about anything, except that episode of the contest. That was about something, that wasn't sure it? sure was yeah. about something, yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you speaking at your old school? Is that right? Yeah. I'm a, I've, I went to Northwestern University and I... Is that swanky? I don't know. Is that good? Yeah, Trey Swank. Yeah, Trey Swank. Yeah, Trey Swank. And yeah. I'm, I'm going back to be the commencement speaker and I am terrified. Really? Well, wear the yellow dress and use that word you used earlier. You'll be great. <laughs> Maybe you'll write it for me. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I could write a speech along those lines. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you going to say to the kids? What are you going to tell them? I don't know what I'm going to tell Let me tell you something. Last year, you know who their commencement speaker was? Who? Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, right? <laughs> what, what were they thinking in asking me? Well, you know, it's contrast. Uh, he, he yeah, was, it he, is contrast. Yeah, a little That's bit. Right. Yeah. It is yeah. He never wears a yellow dress. He doesn't wear yeah, a yellow dress. He's yeah. got something to say, and I don't. So that's perfect. No, oh, it'll be fine. Oh, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can talk about your talk about your green issues. You've got the environmental house thing. Yeah, you? environmental house. Yes, right. I do. I have a I have a house. It's a, a greenhouse, as we like to say. Is I mean, that where you all... grow your marijuana plants? Yeah. <laughs> we just get baked all the time. Right. It's perfect. No, um, it's you know it's environmentally um, friendly home, and so it's made out of um, bricks. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. You can't help yourself. No, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm such a jerk. I really is. <laughs> it's true. I know. I just realized right there. Really? Is that what you like on dates and stuff? When you take girls out, you finish their sentences? No, I just wrote a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going well. We'll be right back. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, no, 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 it's all right. No, tell me about the house. All it's right, made so whatever. It. It's made out of, um, it's, it's, it's all, in, it's an environmentally sort of friendly house, an eco-friendly house. So it's made of um, sustainable woods and it's got solar um, energy and it is, uh, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm waiting for you to say something. No, no, I'm listening. And, um, and it's very cool and it's, and we're very proud of it and it's made of even the tile is uh, do you have one recycled of those, carpet fibers and do you have one of like those this. cars do you have the biodiesel car that we smells have a bio, farty yeah really? we have a, we have a biodiesel uh, truck and a biodiesel uh, bug and we have a hybrid car too right okay Prius. so it's a hybrid of biodiesel and uh, regular diesel no it's really a hybrid it's a oh, really it's a hybrid of a car and a leopard <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, well, that must be fast, and it can get up trees. Well, there we are. It's... We're going on a safari. We're taking it with us. Well, you, can, you can. It's it's kind of a all self-contained safari. Talk about the green issues when you do the commencement speech. Yeah, I That'll will. Be good. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, because you can throw yourself behind that. You're living by that thing, and okay. Yeah. Then what else am I going to talk about? Well, you wear the yellow dress. No one will give a rat's <laughs> ass. <laughs> we'll be fine. We're out of time. Thank you so oh, much for clever. coming. And yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Come back. Will you come back? Yeah, I will. All right, then. Julia Larry Drivers, everyone. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Welcome back, my filthy pigeons. <laughs> okay, that's a little too much. I understand. All right, my first, my first guest tonight, a very beautiful, very funny actress. She's the star of the hit sitcom uh, The New Adventures of Old Christine, which has its season premiere Monday nights right here on the Great Tiffany Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Julia Louis-Dreyfus, everybody. <laughs> You look sensational tonight. Well, I've got a great hair and makeup team. Well, I tell you, they're doing a fantastic job. I, you look at you, you're all bl you're like a secret agent. <laughs> a sexy, you are. You're like in a sexy a bond girl. A secret agent in netting. Well, that's good. You could capture other agents in your net. You, by the way, look fabulous as Prince Charles. It's not me. That's Prince Charles. Oh, it's really a reality he looks show. Wonderful. Doesn't he look good? Wonderful yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. No, he's uh, the, the teeth and the thing. Yeah. You should have seen the looks I got walking around. What's what's wrong? I'm too short. Oh, well, all right, then. So, there we go. That's so much better for me. You can come sit over here if you like. <laughs> come on over. Come on well, over. Now you have to do that uh, filthy pigeon thing. <laughs> I thought when you did that, I thought you have to give me money. <laughs> you want me to sit on your knee, you'll give me money. Uh, How are you? I'm fine. I got a manicure. Do you think that was a mistake? No, I like them. All right. I'm yeah. fine. I'm do, good. Do you get your toes done as well? I do. Really? Do you get them done the same color? Uh-huh. Is that a thing with... I've never had a manicure or pedicure, really. Good. That means you're a real man. I like really? that. Yeah. Yeah. What? Really? I like that. And you've yeah. got clean nails, which is good, too. Yeah, well, the, the, this hand's good. <laughs> this is my picking hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hand I do all the work with. This oh. is my beauty hand. This is my working hand. Yeah, That's I'm all right. not sitting on your lap now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> How are things that they... Now, you, you kind of been working on this because the strike's been going on, right? So these are episodes you banked before the yeah, strike. Yeah, these are episodes we shot right before the strike. Right. We were, um, we were in the middle of episode number nine when the strike hit. Yeah, it came so like we, a thunderball. It sure did. So yeah. we just shut down completely. Right. Well, what have you been doing then since you haven't been working? I've been picketing. Really? Yes, I've the been whole time. <laughs> Writers. I'm glad that you made a deal with them. That's yeah, yeah, I did. It was nothing to do with Letterman. I did it all myself. <laughs> hey. Letterman just follows in my wake. <laughs> yeah, no, Dave took care of it. it was very, yeah. yeah, I was yeah, very grateful good. for that. That's very yeah. good. Did you go on vacation or anything? Though? You just stayed picketing the whole time. You didn't. You I've been, I've been, I've been. Uh, yes, I picketed and I picketed and uh, and I did. Well, prior to the strike, I did some vacationing. I went to Prague. I went to Amsterdam. Prague. I went to Prague. Hey, congratulations on citizenship. Isn't that something? Yeah. yeah I know. I know. I know. I'm really pleased about it. Hey, what's the You probably, or maybe you already said this, but did you ever take a test and stuff? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A yeah. big test, yeah. And you want... well, did you study? Not much. <laughs> well, I did, I did study. They asked me a very difficult question in the test, one that I actually I wouldn't have got if I hadn't studied. Do you, want to, do you want to hear it? Yeah, I do. Who is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court? John Roberts. Wow, you got it. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the answer, the correct answer is John G. Roberts, Jr. Get out of here. I'm telling you. Yeah, so you're back oh, to Mexico. Oh, take that. Yeah. <laughs> Off you go. Yeah, Dreyfus my ass. Off you go. Really? Is it real? If I had written John Roberts, I would... No, no, you would have... They don't write it. They, they talk to you about it. They suss oh. you out. Oh. It's actually... It's a very involved process. Fingerprinting and... Were you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Well, have you ever tried to be a, a national of another country? <laughs> no, exactly. No, it's a huh? big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah, no, did, that really is. That's maybe. Neat. Did you try it in Prague and become a Pragarian? <laughs> no, I did not. I just walked around and looked at the lovely architecture. And you went to Amsterdam too? Did you do a I bit did. of? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? They've got places there where you can go. You know how you would go into a, you know, a coffee. Actually, they're called coffee houses, I think. Yes, right? they, they are. They apparently. Are. Apparently, yes. <laughs> And apparently, you can go inside of them, and they give you a menu, and then you look at it, and it says all the different kinds of pot that you can get, yeah. or marijuana, or whatever. 
Yeah. yeah. This is the reason why, and when great discussions of state and world politics, you very rarely see people go, well, what does Holland think? <laughs> yeah. Holland's happy, Yeah, man. they're like, ah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Dig it, Yeah, dig whatever, it. yeah. It's fine, man, whatever. <laughs> Did, did you, are you a big Europhile? Do you enjoy going over there? I love going to Europe. Yeah? I love What's it. What's your favorite part? Do you go to Paris a lot? Yes, I do. Imagine you and your husband are quite romantic with your walks up and down. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Flowers and chocolates and champagne. That's all we ever do. Yeah. And, um, but Paris, I adore. I love Paris. Do you like Paris? I do like Paris, yeah. I like walking around. Flowers, chocolates, champagne. I sell them, though. <laughs> Flowers, chocolates, champagne. <laughs> Who will buy my goods? Who will buy them? And then American tourists come along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What part of Paris do you go to? What part do you like? All of it. Really? Yeah, what's not to like? I actually think that's the most miraculous city in the I just adore every bit of Paris. And do you eat French food when you're back in the United States? Mm -mm. Why not? Um, eh, don't care for it that much. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> You know what, we have to take a break. Can we just keep doing another segment? We can do another segment. Can you hang around for yeah, a little sure. bit? All right, uh, we'll, we'll be right back with Julia Lee. Anyway, uh, my first guest tonight stars in the new adventures of old Christine, which is coming back to the mighty Tiffany Network this fall. Take a look at this. This is complete crap, this table. No! Yeah, it really is. It's carved. There's nothing carved about well, it. That was, this is done with a Sharpie. No. Yeah, no, this yes. was done by craftsmen. Craftsmen. An old craftsman in Burbank somewhere. Yeah. You might want to get that check back. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. How are, okay, first what, what? of all. Oh, really? You wrote me this note. I always write a note to you when so you're peeing nice on the show. Which is so nice of you, but then I thought... Is this from a third grader? I was in a hurry. <laughs> now, I mean, it's nice. It's nice to be called sexy. This is sexy. Yeah, sexy that's, is nice. A, and you this can keep is it. Thank you. Put it on that's your good. fridge. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. it. Right there. Really? Right there. You're great. You always wear the best dresses when you come on this show. They're really lovely, vivid Thank colors. You. I well, remember I a yellow one. Yes, I did wear a yellow oh, one. It's great. And then this one is spectacular. Well, thank you. It's it, primary color time. Is it? I don't know. I'm just saying that. I, but I'm gonna, uh, next time I'll wear bright, bright blue or purple or something. I'll surprise you. Oh, you do every time. <laughs> Is it a Sex in the City thing? Do you go and see that? Did you, did you go and see the film? I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see the film. Are you a fan? Well, I don't like women. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that might work against you then. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go see it. Right, but, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna... <laughs> no, I didn't see it. No, you I did, didn't. But did I you go see it. Indiana Jones? Uh, no, I didn't see that. Well, what did you do then? <laughs> Stayed at home and really? baked, and you I'm baked? working. I'm carving a desk. You are not carving a desk. <laughs> you know nothing about desk because you were mean about this desk. I think this desk is beautiful. Right, I thank... really do. I right, think it's okay. Just it was made by a woman. Change your mind now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what have you? It's, uh, have you started back at work? Are you should now? Are you going to your holidays? I'm going back to. I'm going back to work soon. I'm going to Africa in a couple weeks, which wow. is very exciting. Yeah, I've never you, been. Can have you, you be ever more been? To Africa, parts of it. It's a very big place, bigger than Texas, Africa. Really? Yeah, Where have been you to, been? Well, I've been to North Africa and I've been to uh, West, East Africa, but I haven't been anywhere else. So you haven't been to South and you haven't been to West Africa. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Tanzania, so that Tanzania ought to be Tanzania would be, it's kind of in there, isn't somewhere it? somewhere there in the center. What are you going to do there? I look at the animals. Oh, Yeah. Right. Any particular animal you're fond of? Uh, cougars. Ah. <laughs> I think you're going to the wrong place, to be honest. What about, uh, do you, are you a fan of the exotic holidays? Yeah, I've been on a few fancy vacations. We actually made a list of places we wanted to visit with our kids, you know? Mm -hmm. And as they're getting older, sort of we're knocking things off the list, Africa being one of them. Right. We went to the Maldives recently. Oh, that I'd was like cool. to go there. Oh, really? Yes. Is right. it nice? 
Yeah, it's great. Go there. Do you go to school? I like scuba diving. Do they oh, my God. Then really go there. Well, that's why I wanted to go, because a lot of it is underwater. Yeah, and some of it's on top of the water. It's good. <laughs> well, that's where you it? have to put your equipment. And... Well, you put your equipment on top, and then you dive under. Yes. But uh, it takes forever to get there. It's like 24 hours. It's bad. Really? Yeah, it takes forever to get there. But I took Singapore Airlines, and right. I'm not a spokesperson for Singapore Airlines. Are you I'm sure? Because yeah. that red dress. <laughs> tell you that is the best airlines I've ever been on in my really life. Really? Singapore Airlines? Oh my god, spectacular. Why is it so great? Uh, Friendliness? All the ladies are all so pretty and it, that's not really why, but they're actually they are very pretty. But what I mean is, is the, the, the planes are clean and the in-flight entertainment is fantastic and this the food like is delicious. 25 years ago or something like that you're talking about. What are you talking well, in about? in America they used to have planes like that. Now, you know, when you get on a plane it's uh, no, like... But, but, yeah, but I mean, and even the food is good and they bring out like sushi that's really good. And sushi stuff. on a plane? Yeah, I swear to you. With, yeah, and it comes in a little, you know, what do they call The bento box? And Wait, wait, wait. We're not talking about coach, are we? <laughs> ah, women of the people once more. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. They got a little bento box, and these attractive women yeah, bring you animals that you can enjoy. <laughs> Do you I, go no, scuba wait. diving? Let's try that. Is no, it a first I tried, class scuba I tried, diving? I tried scuba diving once. I was so scared. I was out of my mind. You know what I saw the whole time I was underwater? What? The ass of my instructor. <laughs> that is the truth. I really did, and it was a wonderful ass. But I, I am telling you, I was so terrified that I just thought I've got to stay with this guy, and I was... <laughs> this close to his butt the whole time. I didn't look around. I was just freaked out. Did you blow bubbles right at his ass? <laughs> he blew them at me. Uh. <laughs> oh. yeah. I couldn't resist. But anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, no, like I quite like that. Stage. It's a late night talk show. We do stuff like that. I hear you just bought a house. Ah. Yeah, well, that's what we do here. Ah. Did you just buy a house? Hey, wait a minute. No, well, I didn't. Okay. But what about the White House Correspondents' Dinner? What was I, that like? It was awesome. I liked it. You did? Yes, yes, it was fine. The only trouble was I realized afterwards that, uh, the, uh, I mean, they were very gracious and very kind to me, and I don't want to appear, you know, in any way negative about it, but I realized afterwards that, you know, President Bush, the current president, is the least popular president in the history of presidents at the moment. And so he was wait like... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't know that before you well, went... Well, I had a rough idea. <laughs> so what happens is... <laughs> so he comes over and he's like, Hey, Greg, let's get a photograph. And I'm like, No, I, I'm good. You're busy. <laughs> No, of course not. He's still the president. Yeah, it's the, he's it's the, the president. It's the president. And I was, you know, I'm a new American. It's a great honor for me to be asked. I yes, was, it is indeed. Yeah, I, have you ever been? No, and I would love to go, but I'll wait for the next, next uh, administration. Ah. Yes, I think that I well, will. Well, they're not going to have one until the next administration, yeah. so you're covered. Yeah, I know. You're going to go to the next one then? Well, I don't know. I'd have to be invited. I hope they invite me. Yeah, they'll invite you, yeah. I got some, I got some, well, I used to have some pool down there. I think come November it's gone. But the, uh... <laughs> What about the... But, but, wait a minute, let me ask you something. Who was, besides President Bush, who was really fun to meet? Was there anybody that was, like, incredible to meet when you were there? Y yeah. Who? Dana Perino. <laughs> <laughs> who? Dana Perino. Okay. She's the White House uh, oh. mascot. The mascot? Yeah. <laughs> she's the mascot. Yeah, she's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. She the press secretary. Yeah, she's oh, lovely. Oh, the new one that well, she's married to a, she's, yeah, 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 she's yeah. married to a Scottish yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see. So I like talking to her because she had some questions that I could answer for her. <laughs> <laughs> that, that made sense to me. They were, right. they were very friendly to me. So I always viewed it as the White House Correspondents Dinner was kind of like... Um, a night off. It was like soccer in the trenches. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like the yeah. night when you put all the politics aside and it's meant to be a night off. Yeah. So that's the way I viewed it when I went down there. Yeah, of course. But you don't feel that way. What do you mean I don't feel that well, way? Well, I'm just saying something contentious to get a reaction out of you. <laughs> it worked, it worked. Yeah. You know, I have never been, but I'm dying. I would actually love to go because it's just such a, a completely different universe. I had this experience once because I've done some, you know, helping to campaign and stuff for Who's various... You mean right now? Yeah. Well, for Barack Obama, I would. Ah, I see. But prior to Barack Obama.
Barack Obama in other elections. I've done work on behalf of other Democrats, and I had this experience once where the it was the, the weekend, and the phone rang. It was like it was like Sunday, and and I was upstairs, and my husband was in the kitchen, and he was like cleaning up after breakfast. You're gonna love you telling this. What? Yeah. No, he's a, he, he's very helpful. Right. And so and the phone rings, and he answers the phone, and he goes hello, and he goes uh, hello Brad, this is oh, I can't do the voice at all. Uh, this is uh, Barbara Al Bush. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, this is this is Al Gore. Whoa! And, wait, and yeah. so we and but it, it didn't quite sound like that. It sounded really like Al Gore. Right. But we have a very good friend from college who's. I see where this is going. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is exactly where it's going. Who's wow. a great impersonator, and so of course he thought it was Gary, and so he said, "Oh, hey, Al." How's it hanging? Oh, it's fine, thank you. Uh, we're just here in uh, Carthage. You go, oh, yeah, Carthage. Yeah, you moved your offices down to Carthage, Tennessee. Boy, that was a boneheaded move, wasn't it, he says? <laughs> and he says, well, we're hoping it's going to work out for us. Uh. And, and, and this continues. And, and he says, well, I was well, hoping I could uh, speak with Julia if she's available. And he goes, yeah, well, you know what? Hang on just a second. I'm just finishing scouring this pan. You don't mind, do you? And he puts the phone down because it's Gary, right? He's goofing off with Gary and he starts. Scrubbing the pan, he puts it. He doesn't even put him on hold. He just puts the thing down so he can hear the water running. He's whistling and stuff like that. He goes, I'll, I'll get. And then he picks it up. Yeah, you know what? I'll get her in just a minute. I think she's in the toilet. Hang on. And he puts it back down. So cleaning, cleaning, blah 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 blah. And then he picks it back up. I, I, hello. He goes, Yo, this is Al Gore. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it dawned on him. It really was Al Gore. Mm. Uh. And so he went tearing upstairs, and I was upstairs, and he comes in just blanched, and he goes, I think it's really Al Gore on the phone. I thought it was Gary. You've got to pick it up. You've got to do something. Anyway, so then it was and like... And then, then it was it. See, that, that I, right there, though, I think there's your problem. Because if Al Gore was really president material, he'd go, like, call me back. <laughs> Maybe. That's your problem. That's a president right there. A president would be like, I don't have time for this crap. Call me back. Showbiz. Well, yeah. You know? Of course, he's got a Nobel Peace Prize sitting on his Well, desk. yeah, for peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's for peace. Yeah. Yeah, but like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah see, yeah. that's too peaceful. Yeah, it's You're going to end up with a it's Nobel Peace peacey. Prize. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. You are quite active, aren't you? Do you ever worry that uh, the, the people that disagree with you will not watch your show and stuff like that? I sometimes think that. But then I realize they don't watch anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Pretty much in the same boat. Yeah, no, just no, doing I'm great. kidding. No, our show's doing great. No, I don't worry about that because you know I don't. Uh, uh, I don't tell people what to do. Right. I mean, I really don't. I do. Oh, really? Yeah. That's your problem. I know. I do have a lot of problems. Yeah. Right. What yeah. do you? When do you tell people what to do? During sex. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a lot. Fun. Well, I ask first. Oh, I ask, ask and then it, I ask politely. But if it doesn't happen, then I demand. <laughs> You're a cat. Man. I am. <laughs> You're a cat. I am. We gotta go. <laughs> the Leo Dreamers, everybody. Give me right, man. My first guest tonight is a great big star. She is. Uh, she. Well, she's not that big. She's about that big. Uh, <laughs> Stars in the new Adventures of Old Christine, uh, Wednesday nights at uh, 8 o'clock, right here on the CBS Tiffany Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome the beautiful Julia Louis Dreyfus, everyone. <laughs> You. you keep mispronouncing my name on this show. Really? Yeah, what is my name? Julia Louis Dreyfus. It's not Dreyfus. <laughs> what is it then? Dreyfus. Dreyfus? Yeah, like drive a car, but Dreyfus. Oh, Dreyfus, really? Well, yeah, like Dreyfus. Hey, I never thought of that. Yeah. It's like, hey, Dreyfus to the ice cream parlor. Oh, that's great. If only you could go back to elementary school, you could really enjoy yourself for that one. <laughs> oh, Dreyfus around. <laughs> Listen, I have to, I have to reprimand you, though. I'm Why is this? Well, because you're not wearing any green. That I can see. <laughs> These are my St. Patty's Day colors, pink it and works black. Works for me. Works for me. That's yeah. all right. 
Yeah. You can pinch me. No, really? Just I'll, here. No, no, no. Here. I'll choose my time and place, <laughs> thank you. I will... I think that's the gentleman's prerogative on St. Patrick's Day. Is it, a, is it really a gentleman's prerogative? It's a gentleman's prerogative perhaps not to pinch. Yes, perhaps. Or but perhaps, perhaps I will. <laughs> You'll never know for sure. <laughs> You're a New Yorker. Do you go in the parade at the uh, St. Valentine's? What's no, because then Patrick's I would day? get vomited on. <laughs> and I oh, to, no. But it's true. Well, maybe not. But it always felt like people were very drunk. Is that, is that an oh, exaggeration? no, no. That's just a, an old wives' tale. <laughs> no one actually gets drunk. No, but listen, you know, I went to school in Chicago, mm. and uh, they used to dye the Chicago River green on St. Patrick's Day. And I'm sure that was environmentally sound, don't you think? <laughs> they did. Oh, wow, really? How do you dye a river green? A lot of those little tiny things of green dye from the grocery yeah. store. You just get people to drop. You know those things that you bake with? No, I don't bake. This may come as a surprise to you. I'm really? not a baker, You no. seem like a baker. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Your pinch might be coming now. <laughs> You'll never know where. Oh, I'm excited. I know. <laughs> That's the whole idea. It's maybe not the pinch itself, but the idea of the pinch. Yes, I know. Is I that an Irish name, Dreyfus? <laughs> <laughs> or Dreyfus. Uh -huh. Oh, Dreyfus, that's it. Dreyfus over to the church. Will Dreyfus. You? I will. There you are. <laughs> no, it's actually French. Louis Dreyfus. But you're always mispronouncing. We got, you know, you've mispronounced my name on this show a lot. It's because I'm trying to tease you. Yes. <laughs> and, and in order to tease you, I've put toge together a clip of you mispronouncing you my name. You have not. Yes, I have. It's a little surprise. It's my St. Patty's Day gift to you. <laughs> Really? Please welcome Julia Louis Dreyfus. 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 Everybody. Although, to your credit, you keep saying it wrong the same way. Well, there you are. Yeah. Then. So but why that. didn't you connect, uh, correct me or connect me even? Why didn't you connect me the first time you were out? Because I feel closer to you now. Oh. I mean, I feel like I've done the show enough that I can point out all of your faults. <laughs> That's not doing the show, that's marrying me. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I heard yes, you got married. Yes, Look at that. Yes, yes. Yeah. You, uh, you, you, you still married then? <laughs> yeah, I'm still married. Well, thank goodness for that, because imagine you weren't, and it was just like news. <gasps> and I just broke it. Yeah, that would be awful. And then I would start crying, and it would turn into a sad episode of CSI or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, yes, not usually, saying... that's not usually the crime on CSI. <laughs> oh, my God, there's been a divorce. <laughs> there's, look at all this stuff everywhere. <laughs> no, no, it's usually no, the... No, I'm still very happily married. Well, that's fantastic. Why, and, uh, thank you. Yeah, and you're... you're... What, what have you been doing then, you and your husband? Uh, what, putting shelves up and stuff? Do you... Shelves? Yeah, what you are know, you talking put, about? Putting stuff up around the house, you know, you... activities, you know, shelves and yes, little cabinets. Yes, but that's what's kept our marriage together. Good. The shelves all around our house. Our house is covered in shelves. Good. <laughs> yeah, on the inside and the outside, and on the roof. <laughs> what the hell is that question? Do you ever travel to other countries? <laughs> other countries Which, do you no never never Which, no i don't like other countries i'm an american now I don't yeah i hear that, that. Yeah. i hear that brosif screw it yeah, if i if i want to go to other countries i'll go to the epcot center that'll do for me thank yeah you. you can see everything yeah there. get it all done in That's one right. afternoon thank yeah. you yeah and then you get fine. a big gulp and you're out of there right big gulp you say isn't that what it's called yeah, Am it, I wrong? it is called that i was you know i was just trying some kind of double entendre thing <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. I am revolting. Yeah, That's yeah. my I job. I keep forgetting how revolting you are. Right. Let me let me feel your eyebrows. Yeah, you're revolting. Yeah. Totally revolting. Have you ever have you ever met Andy Rooney? <clears throat> Incredible. You should mention that we're having dinner tonight. Do you know if you had dinner with Andy Rooney, you'd say, "What's the deal with the starters? I don't like them." License plates. Yeah. Chocolate candy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> do you, uh, do you, what, what other countries do you go to then if you don't go to the Epcot Center? <laughs> well, if I don't go to the Epcot Center, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is like top on the list, right. then I'll go to like, say for instance, Machu Picchu or Africa or the Machu Galapagos Islands. No, no, wait, 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 wait. What? Julia. Don't go to any of those places. Machu Picchu is not a country. No, I'm sorry. Peru, Peru, Machu Picchu is right. in Peru. That right. I know. Have you been there? I'm going in June. Really? Yes. Oh. You want to come? No. <laughs> well, it's very high up. You, you, you. Yeah, get, yeah. <gasps> You'll get, I know. <gasps> oh, altitude sickness. I'm Wait, afraid do you get of that. altitude sickness? I hope not. I'm going to take all sorts of medications to avoid it. <laughs> they say that uh, either tequila or whiskey will cure it. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> to thin the blood even more. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, you're definitely not coming with me. Today. Why? <laughs> I've decided I want to come now. And I won't get drunk. No, no, no. You may not come. Because you're going to be trying to get me to drink tequila and, and Jack I Daniels. Don't, I don't need to go to Machu Picchu to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do that in the green room in five minutes. That's true. Yeah. You and me and Andy Rooney. Yeah, there you go. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> License plates, chocolate candy. <laughs> <laughs> When I watch them, sometimes I'm like, uh, is this really the 21st century? I know, it is and odd. And it's like, it's like network television. It's a huge prestigious show, and then this old grandpa <laughs> comes on and yells at everybody. Yeah, he really, he yells it's at It's fantastic. It's extraordinary, and he's been doing it my whole life. Yes. Yeah. I think we're insulting him. <laughs> I, yeah, I think we are. All right. You're going to have to cut that segment out, no, too. No, not at all. We can't cut it. Any, anyway, it's live. St. Patrick's Day. All the editors are drunk. <laughs> but er, right before I came on, you said, as I recall. <laughs> you did. I. <gasps> well, let me just say, Julia Lou, Louis Dreyfus, that I have never said that word on this show. <laughs> you heard him, didn't you? Yeah, thank you. Yes. Well, we, we can beep it and pixelate it. Yeah, fine. Yeah, all right. Well, that's the best we can do on St. Patrick's Day. We can't do any better than that. <laughs> I'm worried about you going to Machu Picchu. Why is that? Well, it's very high up. Why don't you go to Holland or something? Start off something low down. Flat. Yeah. You ever been to Holland? I've, um, no. So where the hell have you been then? You've never been to Peru or Holland? Oh, well, I've been to Africa. I went to Africa. Really? What, what part? Tanzania. I, that's my favorite country. You, you've never been. I don't even know where it is. Yeah. yeah. Where, where is it? Is it in the middle? Yeah, it's smack dab in the middle. No, it's not. Well, where is it then? I can't remember. It's like in the west. All right. And the, when you were there? Or it's in the east. Or it's in the midwest. It's in the east. It's the, the... Boop, boop, boop. No, it's... it's all right. I mean, I'm come a on. stupid. You... No, you're not. Yeah, I'm a little bit stupid. You're not stupid. I never know. I've never been good at geography. I do know what Tanzania is, however, unlike you. You did not even know what it was. I did. I did no, too. you no, no. thought it was like a venereal disease or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't think, oh, the bad news, you've got Tanzania. No one said. <laughs> You do? Oh, that's no, bad. No, I don't. No, no. I, oh, good. I had some. I had... Oh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want to do that if no. I actually had Tanzania. No, that yeah. would be bad. Wait, did you have a, what were you doing? Were you doing photographs yeah, of Yeah, we were on safari, and, and we were seeing all sorts of extraordinary animals. It was really something. It was actually quite... It was really fun, but it was also very scary, you know? Elephants? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Really close up, and they're enormous. I don't know if you knew that, but in, elephants are big. Elephants are big? Yeah. <laughs> I think we all learned something there, didn't we? <laughs> what about uh, giraffes? Uh, tall? Tons. T quite tall. Quite tall. Quite yeah, tall yeah, giraffes. Yeah, yeah. And lions? Lions, quite fierce. <laughs> and you'd see, hear them at night making a noise that goes like this. Uh, that goes like this. <laughs> it's not like that. Like the MTA. Oh, do that noise again. No. I like that. <laughs> it's not do that. that. I'll give you your pinch, and then you do that noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, they make a noise that's sort of like. Mm. <laughs> Not so sexy now, is it? Oh, contraire. <laughs> That's about as sexy as it gets around here. Oh, yeah, Julie yeah, yeah. Dreyfus.
Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Well, 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 look at you with your new set. <laughs> ah. No, it's the, they're the same as last time. They're the same. Got they're, they're great, though. <laughs> thank you. you look sensational. Well, th thank you very much. I like this uh, neck thing, suggestive of a bow tie, but not really a bow tie, mesh underneath. Nice. <laughs> First of all, you know, this isn't what a bow tie looks like. This is, in fact, a collar. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> I think you meant to say that. No, no, I didn't mean to say it. I know what I want to say, and it's bow tie because it's suggestive of a bow tie. I see. <laughs> what the it's hell? Suggestive of a collar. You're an idiot, by the no, way. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm just an enthusiastic foreigner with a dream. That's all I am. I hear you. All right. What's this? There's all this stuff here with you. And I don't know. What is it? Let it's me see. You. It's you. Oh, oh, yes. Let me tell you what this is. Yeah, tell me. Because I know you love France, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. Okay, I, love, so, I, like, I like a bit of French. Yeah. So, we, my... my um, that was rude, what I just said. Was it not? Yeah. All right. Um, I we were, um, uh, I made a film. It's in the Point des Arts. Yes, exactly. Right, 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 right. I made a film in Paris, and it's a short film that actually is, is uh, it, we did it, and it's on HBO. And uh, it's called Picture Paris. But let me explain something to you that was so extraordinary. So, oh, no, no, just show that. All right, right. So we were at, show that. This so one? it's this, this a br bridge, you know, and everybody puts locks on it. Right, with messages with right. and so on and so forth. And my husband wrote this film, and he directed it. And we were shooting this scene, and I sort of, and I just, got down and was looking at the locks just right there and look at the lock that I'm holding and oh. they zeroed oh, and wait. I just went straight to that by accident oh. and it's J and B and my husband's name is Brad. <gasps> Julian Brad oh. Oh. No uh. <laughs> What are these look right here <laughs> What? Um, am I in your movie? Because here I am on that same bridge. <laughs> you don't look happy, though. I'm not happy. I'm Scottish Protestant. We don't do happy. <laughs> Are you a happy person? Are you happy in your real life? Um, yes, I'm happy. I have, I, I get anxieties. Massage. <laughs> Would you like one? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I've decided that I need to get more massages to relieve my anxiety. All right. You should too. Now, I think I'm going to maybe start to learn how to meditate. I tried it once on a plane. It doesn't work. Ugh. <laughs> no, it's just... Did you get a word and stuff like that? No, I was imagining a cool uh, plinth. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est plinth? A uh, plinth, you know, like a a column, uh, a, a sort of pillar, standing oh alone in a field. Yeah, that's not good for meditating. That's, that's well, like what's, what's a nightmare, it? isn't it? <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a horror film. You know, a plinth in the middle of a field. What? The plinth! <laughs> Will you maybe talk? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can never, never enjoy the, my plinth meditation again, yeah, I'm afraid. No, it's not good. You can't do that. Well, what do you uh, imagine when you're meditating? I try to count. Uh, the the count from Sesame Street or I count? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, one, bread. <sighs> two, two. two. <sighs> Relax, three. Uh, all the tension is leaving my body. <laughs> oh, shh. No, yeah, come on. Know. All right. So well. what do you do? You count backwards? Uh, yeah. No, I do a breathing thing, counting to four over and over again. It doesn't work. I, I, I tried it, and, I, and then I just get bored. Yeah. I'm just but bored. But I think you have to meditate past that until it gets interesting. That's what I've heard, but I always get too bored and just stop doing it and go Yeah, somewhere. or I start to, you know, make a list of things I have to do. Like, okay, one, I've got to, you know... I've it is the count. It. One, one thing I have to do. <laughs> what makes yeah. you anxious, though? 
Uh, imagine we're in therapy. Are you in therapy? Uh, no, I should be, though. Well, okay, then I'll be your therapist. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So, you imagine the count. <laughs> Is this uh, a sexual fantasy of some sort? I think you should have your license taken away. I don't have a license. <laughs> my anxiety I'm seeing a doctor without a license yeah, I'll tell you something though funny once I, I was in therapy and I went to yes and in the middle of my session my, my therapist fell asleep <laughs> and by the way I am not, I'm not making that up I am not making that up isn't that a little awkward when they wake up and I think this is making my palms sweat just telling I can't believe I just said this on national television uh, that's all right. but in fact it really did happen and I didn't know what to do I was paralyzed because I didn't know if I should pretend as if I hadn't noticed or can wake him up or pause and let him take a little what rest. were you telling him what were you telling him at the point he went to sleep was it your thing about counting because that was a little boring <laughs> <coughs> or or was it, some, was it something very deeply personal? And I don't have any idea. I'm guessing it wasn't that captivating, but I, I am paying the guy to help me. Uh-oh. See? I knew it. No, I'm getting You're fascinating to me. <laughs> no, you are. I really am. I've actually had quite a rough day today, and I was very excited to see that you were coming. Oh, that's so I nice. I really like you very much. Why did you have a rough day? Oh, it was just one of those days I had to go places and talk to jerks about stuff. Oh, dear. Did you get anything accomplished? No, nothing no. at all. Nothing. No. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm no, you sorry. know what happened, actually? I had lunch today with my agent, and, oh. I, and I came away from it feeling all optimistic about my life, and then I realized, wait a minute, that's what they always do. Yeah. <laughs> they make you feel all optimistic, and then you go away, and then you never hear from them again. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so I've having one of those days. I'm so sorry about that's that. That's all right. Would you like to talk to me about it? I can be your therapist. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. <laughs> you, you mustn't. No, you know I love you, but you mustn't do your sleep face on television ever again. It was that bad. It was like this. I'll show you. No, yeah. no, no. I'll show you. Or we could have a replay. No, no. It's like an aneurysm. I had. No, it just it went a little weird. You went like this. Well, I was trying to to you put know, it was you really, off. Oh, let's adjust our underwear. Why don't we then? <laughs> myself in the thing and I thought I should change right? no you listen you look great well, I don't know if you're uh, you, if you're anxious or anything but you look fine are you doing Pilates or something because it's <laughs> working yeah I'm doing Pilates <laughs> oh mock me for my accent why don't you mock me what happens when you meet an Asian person you're like oh hello how you do <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, that's how I talk to people. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, I'm very excited for your film. And oh, and Veep as well. I want to talk to you about that. Yeah, Veep. That's right. It's that's really good. You can cuss in that show. Like crazy. I know. Like and it's crazy. really funny. And there's cussing. Hey, do you know Armando? Uh, Armando Iannucci? No, I don't know him, but I know he's a Scottish writer. Yeah, that's... Who created the show. Yeah. I'm a big fan of his, but I've never met him. Oh. You Unless I have when I was drunk, and then I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'll ask but, uh, him. I'll ask him. <laughs> yeah, no. No, he's a great guy. Yeah. Yes, and I've he, heard. He created the show, and uh, I love working with him, and it's so much fun. And yeah, I get to swear a great deal, which is really fun because I, I, it, in my own life, I like swearing. I don't swear as, as uh, a, a sort of flower in such a wonderfully creative way as I do on the show in real life, but. It's a ball. It's an absolute ball to play this part, and um, and that's the end of that, Doctor. <laughs> we were right back for more therapy. talking to Julia about her film in Paris and I forgot to ask you if you like Paris do you I love Paris great now tell me about Veep that's the show 
I go to, I like Paris a lot. Do you go there a lot? Is that a romantic thing for you and your husband? Um, it is. Uh, although the last time we were there, we were working. But that was really fun. But, you know, my fa a lot of my family's French. Really? Yes. Is that the Louis? Dreyfus, oui. Dreyfus? Oui, Louis Dreyfus. Yeah, I am uh, 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 do, you, do you speak French? Oui. Oh. <laughs> That's right, that's how they A little bit, uh, not much. <laughs> Only. I do, I don't do. I don't, but sometimes when so I'm asleep. I I, uh... <laughs> so, no, then, you don't speak. No, I don't speak right, a word. Right, right, right. Okay. No, I do speak a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm not fluent. I wish I was. Um, but uh, my dad was, was born there, and I have a lot of family there. And do you know that my grandfather. I heard about this. Your grandfather yes. was the. My, my grandfather um, flew for the French resistance and really, frankly, funded the, the uh, free French uh, air fleet during World War II and flew with de Gaulle. And uh, he just passed away two years ago at the age of 103, if you can what? imagine. That's sick. I swear. No, yeah. look. No. Wait, wait, well, I don't know. I, we have to ask you, really. I mean, I we love you and all that, but what the hell were you applauding? Why are you applauding? <laughs> you know, oh, he's dead, or yeah. oh, he lived for a long time. Because oh, Screw oh, well you done. Guys. I, yeah. 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 I mean, he's, That's he is. Rude. He, yeah. I mean, he is gone. He can't hear you, or perhaps he can. Ooh. I don't know. From behind the plinth. <laughs> yeah. Call back. It's a, I know it's a callback, but you're mocking me. It's a mocking callback. No, no, I'm part of the ensemble here. <laughs> Au contraire, Frenchie. <laughs> Ensemble's a French word, you know. Oui, oui. <laughs> anyway, so, yes, love France. Do you love it? Yes, I do, actually. I like it a lot. They don't care for me, but I, uh, <laughs> but I like it there. I like it there how a lot. Do you, Have how you ever been to Scotland? That's near France. I'm from there originally. Listen, let me tell you something. I was in Scotland when I was 18. I got to go back. Yeah, you do. I really do. Yeah, it's great. I, it, yeah. Do you play golf? No. That, then it's the place for you. <laughs> do you have family there? Do you, do you live no, there? No, I talk like this because I'm from Jersey. Yes, I have family there. <laughs> of course I have family there. Why are you attacking me? I'm not attacking you. I'm just, I'm angry because I'm attracted to you and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's kind of like, you know, in the schoolyard where uh, little boys would pull little girls' hair, they trying to look, kiss it. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm confused. You know, there was, when, when my uh, son was little and we went to Disneyland and he saw Minnie Mouse for the first time, he just r ran over to the wall and started banging his head on the wall. He, d <laughs> he was so overcome with adoration for her yeah. that he just just started running around in circles and bam, 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 bam. You know, I have to say, if you think of the Scotland, that might work. <laughs> like, oh, look at that wee American boy over there. <laughs> he knows how to bang his head against the wall. <laughs> what was, like, when, you, when your husband was courting you, what did he do to get your attention? How did you meet? Um, he actually hired me to be uh, in his... Uh... Private dancer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he hired me for sex, it turns wow. out. No, I'm kidding. Wow. No, 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 no. He had a theater company and he hired me to be in a, a show in the... So he auditioned you then? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is quite saucy, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So he, he's auditioning, he's a director, he's wearing a tweed jacket, smoking a pipe, and yeah. he's wearing thick glasses, and you start acting and he takes his glasses off and goes, I'm in love with you. <laughs> I know he's not French, but in this, he's yeah, French, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. And, then I, and then I said, oh, I'm in love with you. And then we got married. That's how it worked. <laughs> and so, anyway, we did that. So we worked together, and then we found love, and, you know... Uh, Wait, you found love, love how? How did it happen? Did you, I mean, did you... mean, you... are you asking me, like... Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, you know, when did you know? At what point? Where, did, is it when he banging his head against the wall, <laughs> or...? <laughs> Was there a moment where you said, this, this is the one? But well, you've been happily married for a long time, so yes, you clearly yes. made a decision and went, this is the one for me, this yes. is the one I want. Yes. Uh, was there a moment? Yeah, there were a couple of moments, some of which I will not share. I understand that perfectly. But um, I would say that I knew almost immediately. Really? Yes, it's really the truth. No, I believe you. I yeah. think that that's the way it is. Yeah. Because I, mean, I was married to people and I... Uh, you people. Know, <laughs>
two, two people, mm. and then now I'm married, and I'm married to a person, but I was married to people before. Yeah. And I knew, but before I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, no. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, there, but now I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, first night when I saw her, I was like, mm-hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Just from seeing her, or you talked to her? No, I talked to her as well, oh, I obviously. I to make sure. That... Yeah, I was like, uh, uh, where do I put the dollar? No, I wasn't that. <laughs> That was a joke! No, that was no, a no, joke. No, 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 no. no but that's, that's nice. I didn't audition her, you know. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's very... But then, now your husband in the film, he has to direct you in the film. Yes. Now, how does that work in a, in a marriage relationship? Because usually, I'm imagining, he doesn't say, go over there and say that and take your hat off. Or maybe he does, you know. <laughs> That's, this is why I failed as a director, by the way. Yeah. This is my directing I... style. Take your hat off and stand over there. Yeah, I'm not going to be in your film. No, you shouldn't be. No. no, you shouldn't. The take your hat off film? Yeah. Um, uh, actually, it was, it was very... Um, take your hat off. That's a good title for a film. Yeah, it is. It's not bad, yeah. yeah. Or you can leave your hat on, which is a good title for a song. song. Yeah. That's right. I love that song. That's a great song. Did you like that movie, The Full Monty? You remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it was it, it, it was it was great fun because you know we have a, a, a combat obviously a compatibility and a compatibility, and also we um, had a sense of the tone of the film, so we were sort of you know in cahoots that way. At the same time, I could tell if he was tense and he was trying to mask it, and I think he could with me too. You know, you know, we had I issues. I think that's lovely. Well, for instance, we when we were in France, we had to we were operating. It was a short film. We we're operating on a, a small budget, so we had to sort of steal shots around the city. I've yeah. never done that in France. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we took the show to France. Didn't even tell them we were there. We're like, <laughs> went out. Is that true? Yeah, we did a week of shows from Paris. First of all, how come I wasn't on the show then? Because I would have come to Paris. Why didn't you invite me? I did invite you. You were unavailable. That's a lie. Yes, it is. <laughs> Will you, will you go there again? Will you ask me to come and be a I'll, guest? I'll go there if you'll go. I'll yeah. do it again if you'll do it. Okay. All right, let's go. When? Uh, how's the weekend? Bad. See, this is what happened last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anyway, so we went, like, we, we had to seal a shot. We went on the, on the bateau mouche. Oh, yes. Yes, which is this boat that goes around the city on the The Seine. boat mouche. Oui, oui. <laughs> and so we, had to, we pretended that we were renewing our vows. Um, which is why we had a couple cameras with us, and uh -huh. we wanted to record it. <gasps> but it was part of the film. Wow. And so the crew sort of snuck on the, the boat and pretended to be, uh, you know... This is like Argo. It is. It's yeah. like Argo. <laughs> Does this show air in France? Because I think this they're going to show... come after me. Yeah, nah, they won't. They'll they be won't? like, ah, they got away with it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Hey, let's, oh, sorry. We're out of time. Uh, how do you want to get out of here? Do you want to? Uh, I've got a new one. You can throw frisbees at the horse. Yeah. We could have an awkward pause, or I've just thought of this one. Yeah. You could finger my Drew Carey puppet. <laughs> Is there a fourth option? No. <laughs> Uh, I like awkward pauses. Awkward pause is always the best. I, I mean, as much as I'd love to finger a Drew Carey pause. Yeah, yeah, no, I, well, just, just so as you know, it's, no. it, that, this is all it requires you to do. You just get your fingers and moon over palm out the <laughs> All right, let's have an awkward pause. Smell my finger or not, awkward pause? Not. No, yes, you, you call it. Okay, smell my finger, awkward pause. All right. Okay, here we go.
baby, you look something. sensational. Thank I mean, you so much. That wasn't stressful getting here at all. What happened? Were you on the 405? You can blame Jay Leno. I'm happy to. What did he do? Um, was he like, <laughs> uh -huh. and then <laughs> just uh, on the on that couch for a long time. Anyway, now I'm here. I'm so happy to be here. Yes, relax. It's fine. Everything's great. You look oh, sensational. You, you smell delicious. Thank you. you do Why aren't we in Italy? Oh, yeah, the last time you were here, I said, let's do the show over in Italy. And you said, great, I'll come. And then I said, let's go to Iceland. And you said, I don't want to go to Iceland. That's right. Yeah. And now here we are. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, I want to go to Italy. Do you want to go to Italy? Yeah, but, yeah. OK, well, we're going to need some money. <laughs> don't look at me. Come on. You didn't take us to Italy. You're fine. I'll pay for it. <laughs> I'll pay for the whole thing. What were you doing over at Jay's? Were you, uh, oh, you're doing the talk show circuit, of course. This is a talk show as well. Yeah. Yeah. You all right? You feel OK? Ooh, I like when you do that. Do it again. <laughs> do it again, Daddy likes that. That's uh, my false knee, though. I know. It felt weird. Yeah, it's titanium. Yes. Yeah, that's very odd. That one goes through. <laughs> <laughs> Did that creep you out a little yeah, bit? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah, I know. How are you doing otherwise? You all right? You yeah, I'm busy? fine. Yeah. The movie uh, looks fantastic, by the way, and the late, great James Gandolfini, of I course. know. I know. Yeah. And he's so good in this movie, you have no idea. Yeah, well, he's pretty good in everything I've ever seen him in. No, so. I know, but you know, it's funny because everybody thinks of him as, uh, as Tony Soprano. Of course. Of course, right? right? But the thing is, is that he's so not Tony Soprano. I mean, in real life, this guy was very generous, kind, dear, uh, thoughtful, really self-effacing person. It's very similar to the character he plays in the movie. Right. Yeah, mm. no kidding. It's such a sad thing. It is a sad thing. When, and the movie comes out now. It's out now. Oh, yeah, it opens yeah. uh, wide uh, this weekend. And, uh, but it's nice. It's something to celebrate because it's a real triumph for him, this, this particular Yeah, it's role. something to leave behind, I guess. That yeah. Was that. yeah. Yes. And how are things going over at Veep? You still cussing like crazy over there? Like crazy. Man, you cuss too much. I said, uh-oh, here once, and everyone went crazy. <laughs> yeah, I say a lot thing, um, so many things worse than, uh-oh, you've no idea. There's hardly anything worse oh. than, uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, you're serious. Oh, you mean that one? Yes. You don't say that one. I do indeed. Do you really? I do. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I expect from you the word sounds positively delightful. Indeed. Yeah, well, you see, in Britain, that <laughs> word's not that bad. No, and, and I, no, that word's not that bad, but there's another one that's not, that is also pretty bad. I don't follow. Come on, think. All right, the one, uh, the, uh, is it, uh, uh, clitoris? <laughs> You're welcome, ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's quite a lot of guys up there going, I've no idea what they're talking about right now. Is that the thing Harry Potter turns into when he's frightened? That's not the kind of guy for me. Let's just put it that well, way. Well, well, things anyway in New York. Are things all right? You still enjoying the In New taxi? York? Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, you're there sometimes, aren't you? Well... <laughs> don't you shoot the Veep thing there? No, I don't shoot it there. I live here, and I shoot in Washington, D.C. Well, Isn't that's you? what I meant, D.C. How's D.C.? Is it good? <laughs> I researched the... Crikey, you know. <laughs> I know. And you're drinking out of a snake mug. Yeah, that's right, because I'm part Viking. <laughs> what do I get in this? Well, that's mauve. You got yourself a mauve cup. Is that Person? mauve or teal? No, it's neither. What is it, then? It's, it's gray. I'm colorblind. Now I think the, comedi the Actually, comedian later are. on is going to talk about that. All right. What makes you think I'm colorblind? Because I'm not colorblind. I know you're colorblind. I'm not colorblind. I'm an, F I'm, an, uh, I'm an FAA registered pilot. I can't be colorblind. License, please. Uh, it's in my wallet. I don't. T no, it's being revoked right now no. because you can't see anything. I can. I can see things. I can see you in that beautiful purple dress. <laughs> with your lovely blonde hair. It's really nice to see you. It's so nice to Gosh, see you. Gosh, you're pretty, aren't you? Thank mm, you so cute. much. It kind of goes away when you do that. Do that again. <laughs> Thank you so much. You might want to think about that. All right, I will. Yeah. I will. I will. Yeah, what right. else? What else is going on in your? Well, I don't know. How's Leno doing? Is he all right? Taking it okay? I mean, he's still yeah, like, he seems yeah. to be fine. Yeah, he's he's kind of resigned to it. When I spoke to him, he's like, hey, did it. That's a great impression. I know, I know. It is I did good. that when he was here. He went, that's nothing like me. I went, oh really? <laughs> you yeah. ask anyone else. I think it's like him. Yeah, it does yeah. sound a lot like yeah. it. That's my favorite, is that you don't do words. I can't do it. Are you sure you can do it? Just no, do absolutely it. can't. Go like... Yeah, and then go, hey. 
Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then do the little tie adjustment. Yeah. Okay. That's what Jeff does the best one of all. Yeah, you know, it's good. You have Julie Louis Dreyfus. It's good. How you doing? Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Do you do any other ones? Any other what? Impressions. No. Why not? Wait, do I? Well, did you just smell your finger right in front of me? No, I'm thinking. Oh, wait, do I? No, I didn't do that. Mm, I didn't do I that. I just smelled my... You did. You smelled your finger. Oh, you wait. Went... Here, here. I can do an impression. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can do it. This is the witch from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, I think you just did it earlier on, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that's very good. Yeah, yeah very good. Yeah. We have to take a commercial break. Already? Mm, it's not like cable over here. It's not HBO. We actually are television. Well. <laughs> Tootsie Fruitsie. That. Yeah! We'll be right back. Sense, that's why. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. Hey. Oh, are we back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that was. So great. everyone, everyone in show business is lovely, aren't they? <laughs> hey, congratulations on winning the Emmy! I just Woo! heard about. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> did you have a nice time? I did have a nice Gosh, time. Gosh, the Emmys are a great time, aren't they? The <laughs> Particularly if you win, it's awesome. Yeah, nice. I, I, I can imagine. And my friend Tony Hale won, who who plays uh, Gary on on Veep. So the two of us both won. It was so really that's exciting. a double, a double. It's trouble. a double. Uh, double entendre. Oui, oui, oui. I like when you do that. Do that again. Oui, oui, oui. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Do that again, and then Settle do down. your, and then do your, and do your Leno thing as well. No. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh -uh. Why no. not? All right, smell your finger. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> Sorry, I spat a little bit there. I, I went and then no. like that, and I, I just had some dental work done. I'm in a terrible mess. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's terrible. I had to have an implant put in. Where? My mouth. <laughs> okay, I don't need any more information from you. Have you ever had a serious dental problems? Yes. Really? Yeah. Root canal? Yep. Implants? Uh, no. No, I haven't. Okay. I've had crowns and stuff like that. Isn't this riveting, ladies and gentlemen? They don't care. They just want to go. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> you got a haircut. Yeah. Uh, don't try. You're just mean to me. I don't know why you're being mean to me. I'm no, your friend. I'm, not. I'm, I'm the one that likes you. Well, you have oh, a I've said too much. Uh oh. <laughs> I did get a haircut, yeah, I just, yeah. Got it, I just got it done. It looks very nice. Thanks. My well, hair's going a little gray. All gray. I uh, know. You I should know. color it. No. I'm man. kidding, don't color it. I, I don't want to be one of these guys that dyes my hair and then Please dyes don't. my eyebrows and is going No, don't the, do it. There's yeah. nothing more, or I should say less attractive than a man coloring his hair. No offense to those of you who are coloring your hair, but <laughs> I don't care for that. What about uh, hair that's not here? What does that mean? You know, hair in other areas. Can you, can you go and... Color that hair? Yeah. Maybe, you know, go different colors, like a little plaid here and <laughs> <laughs> a little deep purple. But you're colorblind, so you'd never know the difference. I'm not anymore. colorblind. Why are you saying I'm colorblind? You just, you're just attacking me all the time. You want to leave? I'm colorblind. You hate me? <laughs> I hate you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really like it when you're here. It makes me like the job again. Oh, I, okay. I mean, I always like the job, <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's good. All right, so what else? Nothing really. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> no, no, it's Friday night. You know, I'm just chillaxing. Do you ever do that? Put two words together and make them in one word. Chill and relax. Chillax. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Or you take some of a word off. For instance, whatever. Adorbs. <laughs> I can't think of another one. Uh, P. B. P. P. <laughs> What are you saying? Instead, <laughs> Insta what? I'm such an idiot. You are. Yeah. What do you mean? I, I was saying penis, so I said P. 
All right, all right, I'm sorry, let's go back. Va, there, you have it? Calm down, calm down. Va, 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 um, hmm? va moose. Va moose, that's yeah. what I thought too. That's what you call an elk's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cross between an elk. <laughs> it's a cross what between. What is a... happening right now? Look, I'm just telling you, it's a cross between an elk and a vagina. Oh, I thought you meant it was an elk's vagina. An elk's vagina? vagina? It could be that, too. Because I'd like to see a cross of an elk and a vagina. No. I don't understand that. No, no, no I wouldn't want to no, see that. No, you wouldn't want to see that. Oh! <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with you? What's happening? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, well, look, we're out of time. We're out of time. That's it. I just have to tell you something. When I was really little, I used to go and hang out at my friend Sheila's house. And on Saturdays, we would pour... We would actually have mugs like this. We put orange juice in it. We pretend we're drinking coffee and we're on a talk show. Oh, yeah? And that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I feel like I'm with Sheila, just pretending we're on a talk I'm show. Kinda, I'm kind of like your friend Sheila. I know it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I hate about our relationship. I don't want to be Sheila, but I'm Sheila. <laughs> good old Sheila. Those are good times, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> they were. Just like this is a good time. It's just like we're... We're just hanging. We are just hanging. We're chillaxing. Yeah. We're, we're, we're vamoosing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so you want an awkward pause, or you want to talk like a German, or twerk with a horse? Anything you want. Uh, uh, you want to book a room? <laughs> what is I'd like to book a room, please. What, is, what does this mean? Why are you putting this here? Well, it's a bell, you know. It's just some stuff, because I don't have material. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so what am I, cho okay, I, I don't like any of those choices. Give me another one. Sorry. Awkward pause? Uh, I did that last time I was with you. Um, okay. Something else? Sure. What? Ooh, what do you want? Uh, um, <laughs> argument? Meh, is that Ooh, boring? Fake no, fake argument is good. We do like to do fake argument. No, we don't. <laughs> Seriously, no, we don't. Okay, fine, oh, fine, we don't. My God. See, you do that thing no. where you look at somebody who's not there and no. you get them to be on your side. Oh, oh, there's nobody there. Nobody's there on your side. You're just looking at an invisible person who isn't there and not even invisible. You need to calm down. You need to vamoose. 